Sup, bro? How you doing? And I see there's a lot of long tail boats going back and forth. We'll board one of those also soon and be on our way to the huts. There's some huts in the water that we're gonna go to. bathrooms there's a restaurant over there some kayaks that's pretty cool and these are just huts no electricity here I think they have a generator that they run a little bit just to charge our phones and cameras and that's it okay so this is our room number 116 and it's literally floating like look the water is deep and <laughs> they're just floating on here and we're gonna do a room tour and ta-da! <laughs> There's nothing here. Can you open the window so we have a little bit more light? Here. Is it open on the outside or the inside? Yeah, there you go. There you go. It's just a mat on the floor. And you got a pillow. Honestly, that's all you need. The only thing I hope for is no mosquito. Wow. There's, there's a light in here, but it doesn't turn on. It only turns on when they turn on the generator. So, it's all right, we have a battery to charge up the GoPro and the phones. And that's it. There we go. <laughs> this is so cool. So all the huts are all the same, same thing. So we're gonna go have lunch. Just walk on the pier from over there. That's our neighbor, hello. And this is the restaurant. The restaurant also floats. Everything floats. After lunch, we took some time to rest, then took a quick dip in the water, and then went to visit a local attraction. We are visiting in the rainy season, so we got wet a lot, but I think the haze makes this place even more beautiful. attraction is just a waterfall in uh, the wet season it's a waterfall in the dry season it's a nature walk and we're just unloading here it's super wet I don't I don't think there's any way I can keep the lens dry and I'm gonna go barefoot hopefully I'm not gonna die <laughs> It's been waterfall after waterfall and we'll go down the same way we came up. Oh, 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 oh,
because of all these trees. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. We see light. We are out of the jungle. Five days later of eating berries and exploring. We are out of the jungle. We have survived. Actually, it's only been like two hours, but... And there we go. We made it out. I think it would be better through the right. Over there looks like there's a log. So I'll go this way. Because the boat is over there. Huh. Hello! We have survived. All right, that's it. That's the lake, we made it. It's beautiful. And this hike was just amazing. Absolutely awesome, I loved it. I would do it again. like a rock or something. Oh, elephant! Elephant. <laughs> the lake is so tranquil right here. Look, it's so glassy. Wow. This reminds me of Romania. Have you ever been? So we found a pair of hornbill. They're over there in the tree. It's a little kind of hard to see that dead tree over there. But he stopped the engine of the boat and it's just kind of cruising. It's so peaceful and quiet. It's lightly drizzling. So nice. Not sure if those were birds or monkeys. All kinds of animals in these jungles. I think those are horned bills, huh? They flew over there. In a way, it's kind of annoying because it rains all the time. But also, because it's off season and it's only us here. You know, it just feels so authentic and so nice. Super tranquil. here in Kaosak National Park. We woke up early, it's seven o'clock right now, and we're going on a morning safari. Gonna go do some animal spotting, which is gonna be from the boat, so no hiking and no doing anything today. After that, we're gonna do breakfast, some swimming, then lunch, and then that's it. We'll start going back. Check out all these carp. They're actually big. Look at them. And they're just feeding them here. They live in the lake, but they throw food here from time to time just so they're sick in here. 
Not sure if they eat them or not. Maybe they're just feeding them because they're pretty. We had some fish last night, but it was not carp. It was something else. Today we even have a little bit of sun. Yeah, it's quite pleasant. You setting your rowing exercise? Well, I'm seeing if there's kayaking. I don't think there is. Look, a fish. Hmm? A puffer fish. Look, it was right here. It looked like a puffer fish. Maybe that was the balloon fish that they were talking about. Maybe. It was a really small one. Are you the one that bit me? Son of a bitch. Kayaking on the lake was absolutely awesome. If you ever come to Kausok National Park, this is definitely a must do. After breakfast, we packed our bags and started making our way back. resort here in Khao Sok National Park. It's now the next day. Uh, yesterday we arrived from the lake trip and we were just smashed. We just came in, took out some of our wet clothes, let them out to dry and just fell asleep. It was an exhausting trip. So yesterday we didn't do much. We just had dinner and then we went back to sleep again. So today we woke up super refreshed and today is a beautiful day. So is yesterday. We've been lucky to have this nice weather because when we arrived here the weather was not very nice. It was just raining a lot and today is also sunny. Yesterday was sunny. Super nice. Uh, today we're gonna do tubing on this river. <laughs> There's a monkey up in the thing. Look, the monkey just chilling there. Uh, that's funny. Look at the monkey. He's sitting there chilling like, what up, dude? Are you having fun? Yeah. It's so pretty. It is very cool. Yeah. Look at these mountains. Tubing is one of those activities where you initially don't think much of it, but it's actually a lot of fun. Highly recommended. And this concludes our time here in Khao Sak National Park. It's already evening, we packed our bags for tomorrow and we're gonna wake up nice and early and go to Phuket. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and share with your friends. And as always, stay safe, be nice to each other and we'll see you in the next one.